Time to go for a ride in the seamless bug eye. Doors close nicely and the hinges are good. We've got the nice rubber buttons here and the correct door pockets. Everything's set up really well. This is the original and correct wheel. The horn's not working. We don't have a horn in this car, unfortunately, so you might want to put an air horn in. The right shift knob and shift tower, brand new seats. It's really a nice interior. It's just about perfect. Great carpet kit, nice shelf back here, new tonneau, white piping, correct chrome grab handle. These are the correct starter and choke knobs. A lot of times people cha uh, change the choke knobs to something that's supposed to be the original, but it really doesn't match. And that is the original with this contour. Looks really neat. And these are the proper heater and wiper controls. The wipers do work, and the heater does not. I just haven't hooked up the blower, but the switch appears to be fine, and that's good because those switches are not available. Here's the lights, the turn signals, and those are also working so is the gas gauge, which is great. So let's go for a ride. And um, we've got the correct gauges, working gas gauge, working and um, new oil pressure and uh, temperature gauge. And we're off. Take you on a nice curvy road. Make sure we catch the traffic. Okay. This is a 948 engine. Well, it shifts well. There's uh, 40 pounds of oil pressure at 2,500. That's good. And down one of Connecticut's nice twisty roads. So lucky to have this right in our neighborhood. The brakes are really good on this car. They're the drum brakes, and it's all new, so it, it works the way it was supposed to. And that's actually pretty good. Great summer. 1960 Bug Eye.